ericmother.com. Let's take a look at the chart for AutoZone, AZO. want to show you how the stock market can be very complex because of multiple time frames fighting each other. For example, let's take a look at the daily here. And we can see coming off the lows, this was the movement where the stock comes off the lows and pretty much has not been back to those lows since then. Which means that was a successful entry, talking about this RSI movement corresponding with that price low. Take that line and we can draw our uniformity support line. And guess what? Over the last three, four days, the markets come back here after a pullback and seems to be holding. So we can say net net as long as this line is holding. We can expect that AutoZone wants to bounce. And we also know that because the line is well defined, if it breaks below that line, that's going to be a sign of an impending drop. So support is good. Of course, failure to hold would be bearish. So we can say net net right now the daily chart looks like it wants to hold support. Now compare this with the hourly chart. And here the hourly chart is contradicting the daily. We can see right now it is coming back to test the top side of this line. There's also another line coming from the lows. This line here was the break recently. Of the highs here. And if we extend that line, we see that it comes in contact to the current resistance level here. So if we take a look at this hourly chart, we can see that until the stock can move above this line, until if and when, it can move above that line. That's when we can expect a continuation of the recent bounce. Otherwise, failure to hold above that line. In fact, failure to hold above the blue and the red line suggests that the hourly chart is predicting resistance around current levels and a pullback. So we can see here the daily and the weekly charts are contradicting each other. If we take a look at the weekly chart, you can draw a line from the previous break right here. Now that gave us a warning, a break here off those highs. We get a pull back here. And since that break, this became resistance on the RSI right here. Let me draw it like that. So turned into resistance here for those highs. We got a pullback. Turned into resistance here for those highs. We got a pullback. Turned into resistance here for the highs there before this drop. Keep in mind, this line happens to be at the RSI level of 61.8. Now what we can do is extend this line. Should be something like that. And you can see that this line recently became short term entry on a buy signal. Here. Which is this entry. And of course, we see that the stock did have a good response. Moving higher. And what is happening right now is we are coming back to test the same line. If we can bounce back above the line, that's good. Which means that there is a chance that the stock moves higher. And at the same time, if we break below that line, that's going to lead to a sell-off. So right now, looks like the weekly chart is at a point of support as long as this line is holding right here, which is what it's trying to do. So we can say that as long as, it, as long as the weekly chart is holding, then this might bounce. If it breaks, of course, expect lower prices. Now, which might suggest as of right now, 
this is the weekly chart looking a little bit positive. Now compare and contrast the weekly signal with the monthly signal. And I can draw a couple of lines here. I'll draw two lines. The first line is the previous support line going to the lows. I can do it like that. And you can see that it gives us a break, a major break of a trend here, which is here, before we get this massive plunge. We extend the same line and we can see the monthly chart is already showing resistance on that line. So we can see here that that is already the monthly chart suggesting that pressure is still to the downside as long as we continue seeing resistance here. Another way to look at this is to figure out where it broke down. And of course it broke down here. This break. And that break is again consistent with this break of a trend here. We take that information and draw our uniformity resistance line. And again, we see that it is also suggesting resistance, which is the monthly chart predicting lower prices as of right now, right here. So combine that to the previous line. You can see both of them are showing resistance. So net net from this monthly chart, it looks like arrows are pointing down in terms of the trend. So lots of conflicting information. We got the hourly looking like it is pointing down. We got the daily chart looking like it is pointing up. We got the weekly chart showing it, it is pointing up and we got the monthly chart pointing down. And this is why the stock market is very difficult to trade because there's so many opposing forces fighting each other. But generally speaking, the bigger time frame tends to win. So between the monthly and the weekly, of course, we take the monthly. Between the weekly and the daily, if the daily is uh, giving one signal and the weekly is contradicting that the weekly wins and of course the daily wins against the hourly so the bigger the time frame the more reliable the signal make sure you account for all these conflicting forces otherwise you might be caught with the blind side slop because you did not consider one view as opposed to another eric mother mother.com as always good luck peace and blessings e i see Yes. Woo wee bling yee. Ha ha. Boom pa pa.